Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing another episode of Timberborn. In the last episode we built this paper mill and started making paper. Which by the way is the ingredient needed to make dynamite. All we need to do right now is to make explosive factory and then we can start making dynamite. However, in order to build the explosive factory we need 30 metal blocks. So our task for today is gonna be making metal blocks. Making metal blocks is a pretty straightforward task. We're gonna need two buildings, scavenger flag and the smelter. Then there are these ruins scattered all around the map. We can take them down for scrap metal using scavenger flag. Or there are these underground mines where we can get scrap metal. But to do that, we need to build a mine. And a mine needs lots of resources to build. For us, that's gonna be a project for the future. Right now, we have to use these ruins. And there are few ruins scattered around this map. There are two right here, and another one right here, and another one down here. I think I'm gonna start with these ruins right here. Because we can easily access them and there are more ruins nearby if we ever need it. So I'm gonna start by adding a path connecting ruins into our village. As I thought, our district does not reach the ruins. So, we're gonna have to build another district nearby. Oh yeah, we need district gates to separate districts. That's where one district ends and the next one begins. And now we can place our district center and we have a whole new district. As I said earlier, we need a scavenger flag to take down these ruins. But we need to unlock that building first and it's gonna cost 250 science points which we don't have yet. So we're gonna have to wait till we have it. While we are waiting there are few things we are going to need in this district. First we need a storage for all the scrap metal we are making. For that let's place a large pile. Then we need a small pile to store logs that we needed for construction. Food storage and water storage to store food and water. Finally, a house for our beavers to stay. Then, to build all these things, we need to send resources from our main district to here. To do that, we need a distribution post. Oh, that also costs 250 science points. I think we are making about 150 science points a day. So, let's wait a little while. Okay, we have 250 science points, so let's unlock the distribution post. Oh, this is a massive and interesting looking building. Let's place it somewhere in here. This will work. Make this a high priority and let the beavers build it. The distribution post has been built and there is a beaver already working in there. So let's send some resources to our second district. District distribution limit. Oh, I might have to fiddle with these things to figure out what they are. And a new route, select top of point. I can't select anything. Okay, give me a second to figure this out. Alright, as it turned out, we need another building to distribute resources. This building is a drop off point. So, we need one of these buildings in the destination district. Let's place one here. And now, if we select the distribution post, add a new route, and click on the drop off point. We can select the resource we want to send. First, we want to send logs over here. So if we scroll down and select logs, now the distribution post will start sending logs. To manage the amount of resources we are sending, we need to go to the district distribution limits. In here, we should set the low limit on the sending district. By default, this limit is set to zero. What that means is we're gonna send that resource till we have none of that resource left. But we need logs in this district. So I'm gonna set it to something like uh, 100. Then we will stop distribution logs if we don't have at least 100 logs. Next, we should set the high limit on the receiving district. I'm gonna set the high limit on logs to something like 20. What that does is when this district have 20 logs, the distribution post will stop sending any more logs. So I'm gonna quickly set few more distribution routes for food and water. A drought has started, so we need to close this dam, 
pause all these water pumps and start the irrigation tower. Now we have few more unemployed beavers, so I'm gonna send one of them to our new district. He's our first beaver in the new district and he should start constructing these buildings now. We finished constructing all the buildings and also now we have enough science points to unlock the scavenger flag. Place one scavenger flag in here and once it's constructed this beaver should start collecting the scrap metal. Oh and I sent another beaver to here. That's why there are two beavers in this district. Scavenger flag is completed and now he should start collecting scrap. Then we also gonna need a distribution post in here to send the scrap metal back to the main district. So let's place it down here and let our beaver build it. Okay now we have 300 sense points so we can unlock the smelter. This building need 200 power. Where do I gonna place it? I can't place it here because of the windmill. So what I'm thinking we can place the smelter in this side of the path because then we can place more industrial buildings on this side in the future but we need to figure out a way to get the power across the road so let me figure out how we're gonna do this okay here's how we're gonna do this we're gonna send power this way and then up then it's gonna go all the way around to here then it's gonna go down into the smelter this is actually good because i was planning to set up batteries all the way up in the mountain once we unlock them now when we do that we can connect the batteries to one of these power shafts in here so, what we have to do right now is to let our beavers build this. Okay, we finally finished building the smelter and now it's making metal blocks. Over here in our second district, I added few more houses to get more beavers so we can collect scrap way faster. Now that we are making metal blocks, gears and paper, we can finally start making dynamite. However, that has to wait for another day. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. See you all in the next video. Bye.